What's up guys, I'm Marquette 702 here and welcome back to my playthrough on Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance for the Nintendo 3DS. And so guys, last episode we started off this playthrough, um, went into our first events of the Mark of Mastery exam, fought off against a Phantom Ursula with my boy Riku, and um, we got ourselves like little flashbacks of how this is going to work. And also we were introduced to this one mysterious looking shadow edgy character, um, I mean I pretty much spoiled his name last time, but <laughs> I mean uh, we're going to go ahead and track down this mysterious boy in this video so if you guys could make sure to smash like button for me if you guys are hyped like i am about doing this playthrough still um you know just getting it all started even though you know yeah, it's still the beginning and everything so this should be really fun and uh, without any further ado guys we got ourselves a really mysterious door over here with question marks over here so this should be interesting reality shift all right another freaking tutorial let's go i am ready right now i'm ready Let's go. Let's see what this is all about. Use real oh my god. Use reality shifts to bend the rules of the world around you. Reality shift works differently in each world. Does it now? So basically we can do with these. Uh, I'm going to give my own explanation. You can use these to kind of either throw enemies around using the touch screen on the bottom screen or um, launching items and stuff like that. If this pink symbol appears over a target, it's time for a reality shift. Press A um, plus X to trigger reality shifts. Um, action will be moved down to the touchscreen. So, there we go. And then, once you do that, touch the object to where you are targeting on the touchscreen, and then slam back and aim. Uh, or, or, sorry, slide back and aim. Let go to launch the target in the trajectory shown in the blast any enemy it hits. That made no sense. I don't know why I said it like that. Use reality shifts to launch the barrels. Launch the barrels. Okay, basically, just press the... A and X but oh so X and A I don't know why I didn't do that before it's basically on the touch screen we just freaking pull back and launch ourselves over to wherever we decide to go and that's basically it depending on your lock on target you may need to use uh, or meet different requirements to get the pink reality shift marker to appear for most foes this means dealing a certain amount of crit uh, continual damage try reality shift on everything you never know what might happen and tutorial is complete. Not bad at all. Let's go. Alright, so now we can go ahead and continue on our actual mission or request, uh, or sorry, objective. And um, let's just go ahead and freaking come down here and let's go ahead and start running right now. Let's go. Riley, can you stop barking, please? Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go. I'm ready. So, sorry about my dog barking, but uh, we're going to go ahead and skip the flow motion combat tutorial since I basically already covered that. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into our first, I guess, real battle when it comes to enemies and stuff. And we have ourselves Dream Eaters, enemy Dream Eaters that will try to freaking attack us right now. And we're going to be learning more about these guys in literally just a few minutes. So, what we're going to do, we can attack those guys. And then, let's go ahead and use some flow motion. Let's freaking go. We're gonna go and slam down on this man. Oh, ho, ho, yo. Oh, big poppy. Blizzard. Let's go. Hello? How'd he still get to me? What the heck? All right, you want to freaking... All right, all right, all right, I see you. Let's go ahead and freaking use that nice kick dive. Hey, get slammed. Get that fire in there. I'm pretty sure this is the last guy. So, with that being said, get slammed, my dude. <laughs> While we're getting hit, that's actually hilarious. And we leveled up. Our strength has increased. These things with you, they're dream eaters too? Yeah. If I'm gonna survive the game, I'm gonna need some extra help. Think you can control them? Sure. I guess. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and view the flashback of the Dream Eaters. If we are ever to strike down Xehanort, we need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of Sorrow. 
sorrow and slumber back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked and a great power retrieved. As you know, every world is walled off from the next, preventing travel between them. In the past, you could bridge these gaps because the walls were broken or because you could open special lanes with your keyblades. But your new goals, the sleeping keyholes, are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds back from the darkness, but some never return completely. They still sleep, cut off from all outside champs. Not even the heartless can enter. But these sleeping worlds are said to have their own manner of darkness. They are called dream eaters. And there are two kinds. Nightmares which devour happy dreams. And benevolent spirits which consume the nightmares. The dream eaters will guide you just as the heartless ones guided you to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world. All right, with that being said, uh, now that we've gotten ourselves the Dream Eaters that were introduced, there are two kinds, basically the enemies, the Nightmare Dream Eaters, and ones that will actually aid us in battle as um, ally units, which are the Spirits, so very cool. So we're going to be able to actually make our own Dream Eater using the recipe that we just received. You will often receive Dream Pieces when you defeat nightmare, uh, Nightmares, Hostile Dream Eaters. You can use those Dream Pieces to create Spirits or Friendly Dream Eaters. Go ahead and get started by selecting spirits here on the main menu. Go ahead and select that. Uh, we actually now have like a camera kind of view with our 3DS, even though you guys can't see anything. I'm recording this uh, pretty late, so I, I don't think you guys will be able to see anything. You will use this playscape to bond with your spirits. Since you don't have any spirits yet, why not create one right now? Press X to open up the main menu. We're going to create some spirits right now. Let's go. And, uh, okay, so creating spirits, you can create new spirits in two ways, from recipes and from scratch. Once you've settled in, okay, whatever, I already know how to do this. Um, you can give them, like, specific abilities once you create them with different commands and stuff, so, pretty awesome. We're gonna go ahead and actually create, um, this Meow Wow, which is pretty much the mascot of all the Dream Eaters, since that's the one that you see the most whenever you see this game. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and freaking level this thing up. Why not choose Command and, uh, power up your spirit right now? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and power up, like, everything. Um, although it is gonna take more materials... I'm going to go ahead um, and just raise up as much power as possible. The command we're going to be using for this little Dream Eater is, I guess, nothing. We don't really have anything else we can give it other than a potion, but I don't really see how that's going to help anything. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and create this spirit. And uh, we're going to be able to create our very own Meow Wow. And uh, these things can actually act somewhat as like Pokemon and stuff because there's actually a mode in which you can just use them for battling other Dream Eaters and stuff. Pretty dope, pretty dope. And we can even give them our own nickname, which is another reason why I think they're like Pokemon. But for the sake of a previous game that I will not mention, you guys should probably guess it or know what it is if you've ever played the game. We're going to be naming this Dream Eater, Ven. It just has a nice ring to it. Plus, you know, Kingdom Hearts related stuff, so I'm going to be naming him Ven. And uh, yeah, there we go. Say hello to your new spirits. Spirits will help you in combat. Give them lots of TLC to increase your affinity, and you'll be able to be duly rewarded. Meaning you can get like unlock new abilities for not only the Dream Eater, but yourself as well, like stat-wise. So, pretty awesome stuff. Of course, you can also use AR cards that are not exactly a thing anymore in anything. Um, when it comes to like, you know, just like battling other Dream Eaters and... Um, you know, stuff like that, just stuff for fun. What we're gonna do right now is freaking... Hey, we got some Pokemon Ami slash um, Nintendog treatment right now. Let's go. So we can just keep on rubbing his little face. And he's rolling around and everything, which is so cute. Look at him, dude. And there we go. You can just keep on um, giving him experience. And also, um, what is it? You can keep on freaking... Oh, I have to do it one more time, huh? Alright, when, when can I be good here? There, you got some link points. Use these ability link, or use these on the ability link board to unlock new de uh, deck commands and abilities. Alright, so now we can open up our menu, go to the ability link, and we will be able to actually unlock 
different things, like I said, different commands or abilities for yourself. We got Link Critical, which I don't really know what that is. I kind of forgot. And, um, yeah, as you continue to kind of, like, bond with your spirits, you can con continue to get points and then uh, use them to get better stats for yourself. And, of course, the Dream Eater. So, there we go. And Link Critical, I guess, just gives you more points or more Link bonds with yourself and the Dream Eater. Alright, and uh, that is basically it for that. You can also take pictures with it, which is pretty dope. And, uh, yeah, that's it for the spirits and stuff. But, yeah, I love the Dream Eaters. I think it was a great way to kind of give yourself more allies or new allies instead of rather just having Goofy and Donald. But then again, it is kind of impossible to have it like that since, you know, we're taking the market mastery, basically. So it's kind of hard to have them come in here as well. But, um, all right, let's go ahead and freaking take care of these guys. Like, you guys are, you guys suck, dude. Oh, I thought he was dead. All right, you want to die, bro? You want to die, my boy? All right, we're going to go ahead and freaking use that full motion. Hey! Ooh, okay, 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 I like that, all right. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, that's enough, okay. All right, but we got that nice pole. All right, what I'm going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and actually go up here, because there is a treasure chest, but hold on. Ooh, I managed to take out a ton of those enemies, holy crap. Okay, we do got a potion over here. Yo, this big boy over here, let me go ahead and attack it. Oh, snap. Oh, there's, there's more treasure chests. Oh, that's sick. All right, so let me go ahead and open that up. Got ourselves some confetti candy, which are materials in order to uh, make more Dream Eaters. Just so that way you guys know. Let's go ahead and get this. Got ourselves a high potion. Okay. But I'm pretty sure there's only like one of them that you can install into your deck. Like if you get more high potions, you'll be able to install more. But we're going to stick with our regular potions since we have the most of them. Um, and I can't really think of any more like important treasure chest areas that I can think of at the top of my head. But, alright, let's go ahead and, you know, let's just get some experience, since, why not? I kind of want to be able to level up a lot, since that'll kind of help us out in future boss battles and stuff like that, so, I guess that's good. Let's go ahead and use our dodge rule to get things moving along. Okay, there are some enemies over here, I already know, so let me just go ahead and get my commands ready. Here we go. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and freaking kill you first. We're gonna, I uh, kill, hello? Wow! Alright, let me go ahead and freaking... Use that once again. Oh, get wrecked, my boy. Alright, and I believe that's all of them. Not bad. New area, let's go. Pretty sure this is a new district and stuff. I brought you Sora. We had a bargain. What's the matter, Deku? Oh, great. And here comes the best thing, the best part about this game. In, in air quotes. I mean, I'm just going to put that in quotes. Well, we're automatically sent with Riku to go on his dive mission. So, if you guys don't already know, if you've never played this game, you would know that this, this game takes heavily upon... Or, like, one of the main gimmicks is that you take a lot of sleep. Meaning that, um, eventually, we're going to be getting, like, a gauge or something. In, uh, or later... Later in this game, once we switch off to Sora once again, we're going to be getting a gauge that will have us timed on how many times we can, or how long, we will be able to continue on with that character for their side of the story. And, um, it kind of sucks, because, you know, maybe you want to do a little bit more with a certain character. By the way, let's go ahead and get that nice magic or mega flare. Not bad at all. Our ring is already open, so not bad at all. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Basically, it times you on how long you can play with a certain character, whether it be Sora or Riku, um, in whatever they are, basically, in each world. So, kind of sucks. I really don't like that factor of this game. But, I mean, it's, I guess it's somewhat of, I guess, a good gimmick. But again, a lot of people hate it, including myself, so it's not exactly the best thing in the world. But, um, yeah. So basically, Sora just went to sleep right there for no reason, because the power of the sleeping keyholes and also the power of the mark of mastery kind of takes effect 
um, once we kind of started this. It takes a lot of sleeping. But uh, alright, we got ourselves Spark Dive, and we got ourselves a little A rank right there. Not bad at all. Let's go. Not bad at all. Let's go, dude. My boy Riku looking fresh, by the way. And uh, we are now introduced to Traverse Town in Riku's version. So, yeah, now that we've switched to Riku and he has woken up from, I guess, that first period of the exam, now we're going to be able to experience Traverse Town for the first time in Riku's perspective. So, not bad. Let's go, man. I'm ready. And we were introduced to another new character. We got ourselves Joshua who is kind of like the aide in all of this. Um, basically, he tells us what to do when it comes to, you know, exploring and stuff, and also just what our goal is for at least part of what we're doing here. So, anyway, we actually have ourselves some different commands. I mean, we do still have Fire and Blizzard um, for Riku, but he actually has Sliding Dash, which is, oh my god, yo, it's so good. We're going to go ahead and freaking... And yes, we can still use Slow Motion, by the way. We already had that introduced, so we should be able to... Um, use that right away which is all all kinds of great and we already leveled up let's go dude so what we're gonna have to do now is i'm pretty sure we have to do something I'm, i think we have to hmm what do we do oh i yeah there's an exit right here so i think we're gonna be able to do that now all right we actually have sleep as well i forgot to totally mention that totally forgot that we had that command so we don't have blizzard we just have fire and sleep those are our two magic commands I don't know if there's a cutscene here, but probably. Joshua, why don't they ever attack you? They being dream eaters? They won't go after you unless you're a dreamer. Which is funny, because I've got plenty of dreams. Oh crap, I dropped my keys. <laughs> I got the keys. Dreams shape. In this world, they take form as dream eaters, 
which can become great allies. So now Joshua is teaching us about Dream Eaters, even though, thank God, we don't have another tutorial. But um, we're going to be able to make our own Dream Eater, just like Sora did. We're going to be making ourselves the Kamora Bat. I'm pretty sure that's what his name is, so not bad at all. Let's let's do this right now. I am ready. Man, there's a lot of freaking cars going around. It actually is Goosey Night, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a Kamora Bat. Go ahead and, I guess, uh, we're not going to make him too overpowered. And we can go ahead and give him Spark Dive. That'll give him a defense boost, so that's pretty good. Create the Spirit. And now, we're going to be making ourselves a Kamora Bat. Hey! Aw, look at how cute he is, dude. Oh my god, yo. I just want to cuddle him. I'm totally joking, because, you know, he doesn't look too cuddly. He's a bat. Oh my god. But anyway, we're going to be naming him Dusk, just because it kind of sounds cool. Um, you know, bats are all about the dark. They're, like, nocturnal and everything. So I think the, the name Dusk kind of sounds um, really, really freaking awesome. Um, especially since Riku's the one who is kind of the parent of Dusk over here. Since, you know, Riku does have a balance of not only uh, light, but obviously darkness as well. Oh my god, he thinks he's a Pokemon trainer. Get out of here, bruh. Yo, we got this freaking... Oh my god, what does he think he is? He actually thinks he's a Pokemon trainer. But I'm not gonna lie, Beat looks pretty fresh. Did you see those nice and sleek shoes? But yeah, the game just actually popped up with a tutorial on uh, linking with our Dream Eaters, which is fusing with our Dream Eater and uh, kind of powering up in a way. And for Riku, it's probably a lot better because linking with your Dream Eater in Riku's form is super awesome. You actually get to take a form in which your um, fighting combat style, it, it gets so much, so much cooler. Alright, let me go ahead and freaking spark dive this man up. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and freaking... Hold on. Let me slam him down first. Let's go. Mmm! Give me, give me more. And, ooh, that was so awesome. Why was that so awesome? Get out of here. Your freaking Dream Eaters are nothing. Wait, by the way, did I actually just kill him? <laughs> I think I actually just got- I think I killed his Dream Eaters. I'm so sorry. You're so white. Oh, great. Jesus Christ. The Keyblade War. Okay, okay, I see that pop up. Might as well view it now. Seven of light, 
the deed of darkness. And as for the source of all light, the one true kingdom hearts, it was swallowed by the darkness, never to be seen again. As long as it remains there, even the brightest world will have its dark corners. After all, light begets darkness, and darkness is drawn to light. For this reason, some decided to use the Keyblade, a weapon designed to conquer the light, to defend the light instead. These were the first heroes of the Keyblade. So this actually takes back to Kingdom Hearts Key and uh, Keyback Cover, which is also included with 2.8 and this uh, the remade version of this game. So that's kind of what makes it so cool, the whole 2.8 game, because it includes not only the, only the source of the... I'm sorry, not the source, but the origins of the Keyblade War, but also this game that talks about it somewhat. So that's awesome, dude. So cool. Wake up, Sora. Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, so now, um, what is introduced to us now is dropping between characters, and now we're going to be finally getting ourselves the drop gauge. Um, in this game, you'll alternate between Sora and Riku, um, to progress throughout the story, and you can press the little button on the bottom screen that you guys probably won't be able to see in order to drop between characters. The drop gauge. Drop gauge continues to decrease as you, Im or explore the field. Sleep and the other negative statuses will cause your drop gauge to drain more quickly. Okay, so that's great. Um, if there's any kind of, if there's any point in time in which people you, or sorry, not people, but the dream eaters that we face off against use like a sleeping kind of effect, that will actually make the drop gauge go faster and will be sent to switch or drop, um, like a lot faster than we should. So, yeah, there we go. That's basically the drop gauge, uh, nice and nice and blue right now, but eventually it's going to be turning into like a dark purple, and then we'll be switching to Riku and stuff, so whatever. Anyway, look at that. These guys have sleeping magic, so that sucks. Hopefully we don't fall asleep. Yo, can you back away? Give me, get, get me in. No, 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 no. Get me out of here. Hold on. There we go, there we go. This is what you guys get. Get out of my house. The spirits seem to be onto something. What do you mean? My spirits are not onto anything. Give me that buzzsaw. Holy nuts, that was awesome. Alright, you want eat my fire, bro! Eat my fire! Okay. I believe I saw a chest over here. Oh, you're you're joking me. Alright. You wanna you wanna freaking die? Whoa! Alright, quick blitz. Get out of my house. Strength, magic, and defense? Okay, not bad. Holy, holy wow. Get out of my face right now. Okay, we're not gonna be going that way yet. I don't even think we're allowed to. Not yet. Okay, so open up that chest real quick. Give me that block at chocolate. Hey, that sounds pretty nice. Alright, but I'm pretty sure the game just, or sorry, Sora analyzed this little thing right here. So we're gonna do, lock onto that, and nice. So now what that's gonna do, is trigger the first district. Nice. We're gonna be able to go back to the first district from here, and uh, yeah, let's just see what's going on after this. Track down Neku and his game partner. Alright, so yeah, that's basically what our goal is as of right now. Let's go ahead and analyze this. And we have ourselves somewhat of like a elevator kind of thing, so we're going to go ahead and leave this area and see what's over here. This part shouldn't take too long. Uh, we're basically in this like kind of mechanical room to where we have like different poles and such. Such as right here, we're going to use that nice flow motion. Let's go, dude. Look at all this. I absolutely love using flow motion, though. It just makes everything so much easier. Not only for, like, uh, mobility, but but uh, in general. It's just so freaking awesome the way it works. And really glad that in Kingdom Hearts 3, we're going to be able to use that in a more, like, 
probably more, um, what is it, engaging form, especially in that nice crystallized blue, it looks so sleek, alright, let's go ahead and attack these guys, let's go ahead and freaking slam down on these guys, A, not bad, let's go ahead and use up that fire, okay, not, actually, never mind, we're not gonna use it at all, because we just wasted all that, not bad, not bad, I love wasting stuff, alright, we're, we're gonna do now, is freaking uh, go back onto this pole real quick. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. No, come back. Wait. No. Oh, okay. There's an elevator. Okay. Thank God. Dude, that sucks. I did not mean to do that. That was completely by accident. <gasps> Yo, wait. There's a chest. Holy crap, dude. Wait. Oh man. I did not see that. Okay. So what? We're, what are we gonna do here? Crap, dude. I did not see that huge chest. Holy, wow, wait, what would happen if we, oh, by the way, if you press both L and R, um, and hold them, you will actually be able to just use the circle pad to just move around the camera like this, which is pretty, pretty nifty. Alright, but let's see where that huge chest is, because I really want to cop whatever, whatever it is, uh, inside there. So, that should be awesome. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about that. But let's go ahead and see what's coming up here. Are we even on the right path? I really don't think we are. Nope, it's over there. Alright, that's that's always nice. Let's go ahead and dash over there. One more time. There we go. There we go. Alright, nice. Wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Turn around. Let's keep a jumping on here. Oh, no, dude. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Oh, man, I really wish I could see this. Yes! We made it up top. Let's go. Walk up to this chest real quick. And that is basically our first big chest that we've gotten. And we got Spark. Yes. All right. So now we got ourselves our first command that we can um, add to our command deck. We're going to go ahead and switch out. Let's see. Spark is a spell. So we're going to go ahead and replace that with Blizzard. Replace that with Spark. Summon a ring of revolu revolving light crystals that deal damage to enemies. So we're going to go ahead and replace that. And now our command deck has been updated. Let's go. I am so hyped right now. Okay, what we're gonna do now is, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, go up here on this green pole, and we're gonna go ahead and see what this leads up to, oh no, alright, let's go and turn this around then, I don't think that was what I was supposed to do, alright, now we're gonna be going into here, and we now have ourselves a brand new area, with a save point right here, okay, so we're gonna do right now, save our, cro uh, our progress, progress, and, um, now everything has been updated. Pretty cool. I don't even think I did that in my practice file. I didn't even know there was a huge chest over there. Or for what I was paying attention to, I guess. I don't know. But I believe now we are in the, uh, Fountain Plaza. Which is another pretty cool area in this game, not gonna lie. And I believe there are actually some chests up here as well. So we're gonna do... Freaking come up here. Actually, no. Wrong side. Wait, where is that? Where is the chest and everything? Hold on, let me just hold both buttons, okay. Pretty sure there's some area in which we have... I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so let's go and see what's up here. Nothing up here yet? Okay, that's fine. Ooh, okay, okay, we can use that full motion. I see you! We really can't do anything though? I feel like there was some section in which there's a chest, but... Alright, let's use Spark. Hello? That didn't do it. Oh, I think we have to be near them. Alright, I'll use it again, but I don't I don't know what I did wrong there. Okay. Let's go and attack you, because you suck. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, let's see. Let's use Spark again. That does not do anything. Oh, there okay, we had to press the A button after that. That's what I was confused about. Okay, that was pretty cool though. Managed to do some damage. I'm not gonna use a potion. Ooh, let's actually go ahead and link with our dream eater. Let's go ahead and link with Ben right now. What we're gonna do right now is Oh crap. Alright, I might as well just get rid of him. I did not mean to do that. So, we're gonna be able to link with our Dream Eater. Right now, actually. So, once we do that, we can freaking use Ven to bounce on these enemies and just wreak some havoc. You know what I'm saying? Hey, get that job done. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Alright, let's see. Can I can I get out of this? I, I, really, I really wish I could just savor this precious time with my Dream Eater. Okay, do not touch me. Do not touch me, dude. Alright, you're gonna pay for that. Oh, wait, wrong dude, wrong dude. You're not the one who just bodied me. Alright, let's just go ahead and freaking spark this. No! Oh my 
god! Okay, you know what? You can freaking pay for that. You can go ahead and get killed right now. Alright, wait. Wait, you wanna die too? God dang. You gotta chill, bruh. You gotta chill. I said you gotta chill. Alright. Let's go and freaking... Let's freaking get some stuff done. You gotta stop hitting me, bruh. You gotta stop hitting me. I should really use my flow motion often. Alright, you know what? Screw this, bruh. Let's go ahead and freaking... Slam down, and you're finished. You're finished! You know what I'm saying? As Roxas would say. Alright, anyway, you are so done. Hey! Stop trying to cause me to sleep. That is not cool, my dude. Not cool at all. Alright, alright. Okay, hold on. Fire. And now we're gonna go ahead and slam down on you like that. Alright. And there's one last area in which I really just want to get to because... Another huge chest right over here, which is just fantastic to me, you know what I'm saying? Got ourselves Strike Raid, which is a ability that we can also put into our command deck, so why not just replace it, you know? We're gonna go ahead and replace Quick Blitz with Strike Raid, and there we go. Strike Raid is a pretty classic command from the first Kingdom Hearts game, to where you can throw your Keyblade and kind of have it like have like a boomerang effect somewhat, so... I'll probably show that off, like, in a few seconds, if I can get everything to reload. Alright, so hopefully that is... Okay, it's taking a lot longer, but... Might as well just stall for now. Get killed. Oh, is that all of them? Nope, there's one left. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is turn the camera a little bit. Actually, you wanna, you wanna go over here? That's fine. Because I'm, what I'm gonna do... You're done. You are done. Okay. Oh, I was gonna use my, um, reality shift. That would've been so cool. If I could use that. Alright, let's just go into the next area. Why not? Alright, so we are getting a lot of good stuff done right now. Just getting a lot of progress in. We're gonna go ahead and... Ooh, that was slick. That was slick. Go into this pole real quick. And now... Go ahead and grab on there. Another chest. Another huge chest. This is just amazing. And we got Balloon. Which I'm actually gonna give to Riku once we uh, switch over to him. So... Yeah, okay, there's actually a chest over here, so what I'm gonna do is, real quickly, let's open that up, see what's in there, I'm pretty sure, okay, just a potion. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into this next area, and, alright, not bad, let's go. I love how Sora's so excited, like, why is he so hype all the time? At least in this game. Nobody says that. Nobody says that. What? What? Since when does everybody say sometimes memories just li need a little help getting out? Like that does not even make any sense at all. And why is she so like open to help us out? Like I know we look like a nice kid since Sora's appearance looks a lot younger in this game due to the effects of the exam and the sleeping stuff, but still. So, you don't randomly just go up to a stranger, or a stranger doesn't come up to you saying, Let's go find this other random person, you know, why not? I mean, I guess Rhyme knows who Neku is, Neku is because they all live in the same, somewhat, like, area. Because they all live in, like, Shibuya and stuff, so, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but... I mean, come on, you don't just go with a stranger to anywhere, but... Guys, that's gonna go ahead and hold up, let me go ahead and talk to this Moogle first. Because we got ourselves a Moogle shop in here. So we're going to go ahead and actually buy a few things. Nothing command-wise. We're going to be buying ourselves some paint cans. Only 310 money? Are you kidding me? Yo. Okay. Well, I'm going to be buying some paint cans for Ven over here. Because I want to change out. I want to change his style. You know? I want to make him look super awesome. So what color should I make him? Should we make him white? Oh, that would look so clean on my boy Ven. So I'm gonna do is we're gonna freaking buy, okay, that, we're not spending over a hundred, that's kind of ridiculous. We, eh, I guess we can spend 90. We're gonna go ahead and actually, um, let's see if we can do it now. We're gonna see if we can paint my boy Ven 
into a more white color. Let's see this right now. Alright, so on the bottom screen, it tells us what we can do. Let's go ahead and do this right now. Alright, let's just go ahead and shoot him with this stuff. See how many times we can change his color. Alright, and there we go. That is basically it for the makeover. And now Ven is looking really clean. Let me just say, he looks super like you know, innocent, and like an angel, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look at him, he looks so awesome. Alright guys, but like I said, or I didn't say it yet, but I'm gonna say it now. We're gonna end off this episode, uh, since we're already at about 40 minutes in. Like, that's crazy, guys. We got a lot of good stuff in this episode, uh, today. Really happy about that. We managed to, you know, learn the basic flow motion combat rules, and also other things when it comes to spirits, and got to play as both characters in this video, so that was pretty awesome, but if you all did enjoy this episode and want to keep on seeing more, make sure, as always, to hit that like button. I'm still going to be continuously uploading this, uh, like, a lot, so expect more videos on this, uh, in maybe a few hours from now, or maybe, like, tomorrow, I don't even know. I'm going to be uploading this a lot, is what I'm trying to say, but if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash the like button for me, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new, and next time, we're going to be getting ourselves into this door, or actually, we're going to be switching to Riku and seeing what else he's going to be doing as for the exploration of this world. But until then, guys, thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace, Marquezis. Stay awesome.